brought it down and basically gave him that same ultimatum. If you don't ride this board, you're going to lose. Mason took that board out and got the job done and got a heat win. But here we go. Nat Young up once again. He had a 757 on his last wave. He's out in front trying to improve on that last ride now and finding his rhythm out here at Bells once again. This wave's starting to fade away. Matt's not done with it yet. Let's see if he can get that tidy finish, which has been missing so far in this heat. Clean floater. He's going to kick out right on the shoreline. Solid applause from the crowd on the beach, which has been building throughout the day in anticipation of these round five heats, but also the big final between Courtney Conlog and Sally Fitzgibbons. It's going to be a great show. Well, i tell you what, uh, right now Nat Young trying to get rid of a 7.57. He's got two solid numbers on the board, but uh, I kind of think that's going to be his best score. And he's going he's gonna to probably put Mason Ho in a combo situation here as he jumps back on his ski. So Nat Young looking really comfortable. This was on the wave right behind Nat. Nice little snap. You can see Mason just a little caught behind that section. Was trying to stuff himself in that barrel and got caught. And again, here's that rhythm you're looking for at Bells. You want to be able to just rip in the turns and not have to find the open face. So Nat is not looking. He's just right there teeing off. And that's that, that perfect pace that you need at Bells to get big points. Nat, he found a nugget right there. And uh, again, he's so strong. He's got those big tree trunk legs. So the wind doesn't seem to be an issue for Nat. He is just punching that lip right in the face. Uh, and again, I think this is going to be his best score.